Hello, so uh, today I'm going to show you how to install R in Ubuntu 14.04 Trusty. Uh, now I wanted to make this video because uh, there is some problem when you want to install, uh, install R on Ubuntu. Basically, um, there's a problem when you want to upgrade or update the, the base version of the packages. Uh, so I wanted to show you how how I got to make it work. Um, yeah, so so the first thing that you want to do is, um, I'll show you the easier way. Um, you launch the Ubuntu Software Center and then type in r-core, uh, not r-core, r.base, I think. Yeah, so this is the easiest way to install R. Uh, however, if you want, if you look at the information here, you would actually be installing a, a older version of of R. So let's get this started. Let's install this first, and then we'll get to the the upgrade bit in a bit. Ask you for passwords. So Instagram the password. Oh, I think I launched Synaptic as well. So, either ways, you can use uh, Ubuntu Software Center or Synaptic. Both ways, you should be able to find, uh, you know, our base. So, install that. Um, as we speak, a uh, little background, so as we speak right now, uh, I think the latest version of R that is available in CRAN is 3.0.3 and the version that we are installing now with this would be I think 3.0. something, I think 3.0.3 or something. Uh, so it takes a little while, my internet speed is a little slow today surprisingly, uh, but we'll give it some time. And uh, in the meantime, if you go to look at the CRAN repository, <coughs> there is an instruction uh, to, uh, to install R. Um, I found it a little complicated, so I'm trying to make it easier for you all. Uh, so here's this link download R for Linux and uh, it's already installed so um, so when you go to go to Ubuntu um, you see there's a big list of things and that makes people scared <laughs> uh, to install install R in Ubuntu so all right, so now you have R installed, and hopefully you should be able to launch it from the from the terminal. So you launch the terminal, which is uh, uh, Control Alt and T is the shortcut key, and then type in capital R. It should launch R. So there you go. Uh, you have a very old version, 3.0.2. Oh, sorry, it's 3.0.2, not 3.0.3. Uh, which was released long, 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 long time ago. Um, so it, it works. So, uh, so we want to upgrade this R the way we do it in Windows. Uh, so that's that's the whole video is all about. So we quit out from here. Right. And what we are going to do is, uh, I have some notes here. So they're basically a PPA available. Uh, so let me go to take you to this page and show you the actual PPA. I'll provide all those instruction in the notes, uh, on the description notes in the video. So Michael Rutter is maintaining this PPA, which um, he is he's maintaining uh, all the upgrades for Ubuntu users. Uh, so uh, a big thank you to him. 
Um, so we're going to add this BPA and how we do it is through this command sudo app at uh, repository BPA ma router slash r r u t t e r so it's 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 very simple so you come to the terminal paste it and it will ask you for a password oh it doesn't like it uh, So this is the one. So there's a dash in between app add and repository. Sorry about that. So I'll give you all those details in the um, in the description. So hopefully this should work. It generally doesn't take that long. So yeah. So when uh, you get this message, you need to press enter to to add this BPA. And then if it works, then you get this. Okay, sometimes it doesn't work for some reason. Uh, so you have to try it a couple of times. Uh, if you get the command correct, you are good. So keep on trying if it doesn't work for the first time. So once you do that, you do an update. Oops. <clears throat> and it takes some time depending on uh, your internet speed um, so while it is working I can show you a little bit here so uh, the official uh, you know, uh, instruction is a little, little messy, I would say. Uh, so you need to add. It says you need to add uh, this, uh, this exception in the, in the source dot list file, um, and basically it does almost the same thing, but but it's a little involved, uh, not not very straightforward in that way. And sometimes this secure APT doesn't really work. So I found this to be the easiest way to do this. So now uh, the the update is done. The next command would be sudo app get upgrade. Right. So when you do that, you see automatically it is saying that our development, our base, and all those things are there. So all you need to do is press yes or type in Y and then it would start downloading the latest version of R or rather start installing uh, R the latest version of R so again it takes a little time depending on the, your internet speed looks like it's done so let's test it out type R and voila you have the latest version of R 3.2.3 released just 20 days back yeah um, so this is it so right now what you're seeing is you cannot really have so when you do this you don't really have uh, a, a GUI of R uh, like Otherwise, you, oh, you do? Let's see. Now, it still launches in the terminal. 
so Windows user of R would, would, would see a GUI, but <coughs> Ubuntu doesn't doesn't have a GUI. It, it still launches in um, in the terminal. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how you can install R Studio so that you can start working on your favorite. Um, actually, R Studio is my favorite. Um, um, you can use R and R Studio both together like you'd otherwise do in Windows and Family. Okay? Alright, thanks for watching.